Hey y'all, hey, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Mahogany and no, I am not a chef nor do I aspire to be. Now let's get into the spaghetti. Everybody knows how to make spaghetti, it's no secret, but I'm gonna show you how I like to amp up the flavor profile with my spaghetti. So on the screen are the ingredients that I like to use in my spaghetti and like I always say with any other recipe, you can alter this to your liking. You do not have to follow it exactly how I do mine. Y'all know I don't like a lot of bell pepper, so I definitely do not go in with too much bell pepper, um, but I love the flavor that it gives off. I actually prefer onion over bell pepper, so a lot of the times you'll see me use a lot more onion than I do bell pepper. So I'm just going in and giving that a nice dice, or as nice as I can possibly get it. And once it's all chopped and ready to go, the secret ingredient, sausage. We love a hearty spaghetti. And so I love to pack in as much meat as I can. So I'm just going in with half a link of the Hillshire smoked sausage. Definitely use your favorite brand of sausage. This is one that we particularly love in our spaghetti. So that's the one that I'm using. So I just went in and cut it down the middle and then I'm cutting it into smaller pieces just to make it easier to eat. Once that is all cut up, I'm gonna set that aside and get started with our water for our pasta. I like to go in with a large amount of salt. So while that is coming to a boil, we're going to start on our meat sauce. And I particularly love to use 80-20 ground beef. If you don't know what that means, 80 is how lean the meat is, 20 is about how much fat is in your meat. So all I'm saying is, this will produce a lot of grease. I particularly don't mind because to me, fat means flavor. So that's all I'm doing here is adding in my seasonings. And like I said, alter this to your liking. Now that my seasonings have been added in, I'm gonna go in and break that down as fine as I can get it. You don't have to have super fine minced meat for your spaghetti but we love to have it in smaller pieces as opposed to larger chunks. Because like I said, I do use a lot of extra added ingredients. So now I'm just adding in the veggies that we prepped earlier as well as the sausage. And I'm going in and giving that a really nice mix. Just to make sure all of our veggies have touched some of the grease and are able to give off all of the possible flavor that it can. Once that has been stirred and mixed really well and it's had time to cook, I go in with about a fourth teaspoon of minced garlic. I tend to add my garlic in towards the end because it does cook really fast. And the last thing I want that garlic to do is burn. So now I'm going in, giving it a nice stir and letting the flavors kind of marinate and marry together. Once all of those flavors have been marrying for a little bit i am draining my meat and then i'm getting my pasta started now it's time to show a little love to the sauce so i like to use the jarred ragu meat sauce use whichever one you'd like this is the one that i find to taste the most authentic so this is the one that i tend to go for and so i'm just letting that simmer for just a second so all of those flavors can kind of come together and once that has been simmering for just a little bit, I like to go in and taste. And yes, I add sugar to my spaghetti. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments. Are you a sugar in your spaghetti type of person or are you opposed to sugar? I feel like spaghetti definitely needs a little sugar because this is a tomato based sauce. So it definitely helps with heartburn and things like that. So I'm draining my pasta and before you know it, dinner is done. Dinner is all done. Let that meat sauce simmer for a little bit, but that is it y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye y'all.